Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from ExuderAutomation.com and this is part 4 of our Appium with Java video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about locating elements in Appium and this is part B of that series. Alright, so before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. So Appium locators continued. So in this part, we will start to work with REST identification types uh, such as accessibility IDs and class names. So let's not waste our time and flip to Eclipse. So this is the project which we were working in our, our previous video of this video series and we were identifying the control using the uh, ID, right? So here we're going to use uh, a different way uh, to perform the operation, not just ID, but also we're going to identify the control using accessibility IDs and the class name and the indexes, right? So for that, I'm not going to take the calculator application which we developed already. So I'm going to use the calculator application which comes out of the box with Android. So uh, this is the calculator application which comes out of the box. So you can see it's slowly loading. Okay, so this is the uh, application. And uh, let me open the a UI Automator viewer. All right, uh, let's refresh this. All right, the application is on. And now you can see that I have the buttons and uh, the, uh, the whole calculator application is right here. So what is this? Uh, if I want to perform the operation like 56 plus 23, uh, to perform that, you can see that for the button 5, the ID is uh, digit 5, right? So maybe in this case, uh, I can uh, use the ID. Uh, but to perform the plus operation, you can see here, I can either use plus or you can see there is something called as content description, uh, which says plus. So this content description is otherwise called as accessibility ID. So we can use this guy to perform the operation, right? So let's quickly do one by one. So I'm going to start writing the code for that. So before doing it, uh, we also need to change this uh, com.example.calculator from uh, com.android.calculator2. So this is what we're going to change. So I'm going to change this because the application is completely changed right now. Similarly, in your Appium server, which points to this particular APK file, you need to stop this. Maybe you can delete the log and remove the application path. That's very, very important. If you don't do, then Appium will be keep on looking to this particular APK file, right? So just remove this. And now you start this uh, Appium server. So again, back to the Eclipse. So here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to form the addition operation. So for that, uh, finding the button uh, five, six, and then performing a plus operation with two, three. All right, so let me quickly start write the code. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just type, uh, okay, let's reuse this code. Uh, maybe instead of uh, this EDT number one, let me go to the UI automator. So five, it is a digit five. So now the other things will be pretty plain and simple for me. All right, so digit five. And then instead of send keys, uh, I'm going to click that. So just hit dot, there is a method called click. So again, it is similar to your Selenium. Just perform the click operation. So click. Five. Similarly, uh, you can perform another click, and then you need to perform a plus operation, and then perform another two clicks. And uh, here, let's say fifty-six. Oops. Uh, and this is going to be a plus ninety-three, something like that. All right. So instead of uh, plus, as this it the one which we already have, like find by ID, I'm going to use the accessibility ID. So for that, the accessibility ID is plus. So let's use find element by accessibility IDs. And then you can 
paste this thing. Awesome. See, we've done the code very quickly. And now let's also try to do one more thing like verifying the result. So if you do a operation like 56 plus, uh, where is that? 93. 93 your result is going to be 149 right so we need to get the text out from this particular uh, result box so we'll see uh, what is that from this particular UI automator all right so this guy which is actually a class edt txt so right now we're going to use the class not the resource ID or accessibility ID. So we're going to use the class name and we're going to get the text out from this particular box, right? So verify the result. So what I'm going to do is put the string uh, result and then we're going to use driver dot find element by maybe we can use the method which is available. Find element uh, by class name and I'll pass the class name fully Remember in part 3 we're discussing about that you need to pass the fully qualified class name and Then this is going to return me uh, the text right so I'm going to use a method called get text All right, so this should return me the text and we need to verify if the result uh, is going to be equals to uh, 149 since this is a string I'm using equals all right awesome and then see if it is passed if it is equal uh, else you can say it is uh, failed right so as you can see here we are using three different uh, uh, identification type uh, one is by ID one is by accessibility ID one is by class name and also we're using the get text method to get the text out from a control Right, so the code is itself is very simple, but still we can see that there are some kind of uh, uh, repeated codes. We can always use a method to perform this operation, which we'll discuss in the later video of this video series. But right now, just bear with me, this is the code that you got. So now let's execute and see how things works. So I'm going to hit the back button. All right, and uh, let me quickly run this code and see how it works. So I'm going to run this. So the APM server is up and running and let's open the emulator and we'll see how things works. Oops, I think uh, we got a problem here. It says that the app activity is required to launch the application. So meaning uh, we have to specify the app activity. So what is the app activity uh, in the desired capability so we need to set that particular stuff as well and it's going to be uh, mobile capability uh, type dot app activity so actually the activity which we are looking for is going to be a calculator right so this is the uh, app activity name for this particular calculator, right? So now if I try to execute this test, it should work fine as expected. So we'll see how it works. So uh, this is the emulator and where is my APM server? Okay, so the APM server is up and running. So we'll see how it is going to open the calculator and how it's going to perform the operation. All right, seems like uh, the calculator is going to open. All right, it just opened. So now it should type the value. Yep, 50, uh, six, and should click plus. Okay, so the accessibility ID is working. And 93, and oh, I'm sorry. I think the problem is, uh, we did not perform the equal operation in the code and that's the problem maybe we should get the 
equal as well so the accessibility ID is equals so let's go to the Eclipse and uh, we need to finally click the uh, equals here so it should be equals awesome so now if we try to run this code I think it should work fine so I'm just going to run that at the same time I'm going to just uh, hit the back button all right the calculator is opened now it should type 56 plus uh, 93 is equal to and also verify uh, whether the result is perfect or not all right so it seems like uh, the operation is done so if we go back to the Eclipse and now if you see what is the result it says it's passed so that's what we passed here so that's it guys so this is how you can perform the operation by identifying the controls in the applications UI and perform the operation in the application right so the next video of this video series will discuss about speeding up the execution using a different emulator uh, not the Android emulator and perform the operation so that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.